The title of our presentation is First Principles Thermal Analysis Model of the TCP100 Parabolic Craft Collector based on the Madarica Standard Library. The outline of the presentation is formed by the next sections. First, introduction, then the TCP100 research plan. After the TCP100 Parabolic Craft Collector Thermal Analysis Model, a simulation section where some simulations are presented, and finally, a conclusion section where some conclusions are drawn. In the introduction section, we are going to talk a bit about uh, concentrated solar thermal power plants. Many concentrated solar thermal power plants have been set up in the last decades. We are going to focus on parabolic draft collector plants in this paper. In the last 15 years, Spain is hosting 45 out of the over 70 built or under construction. Industrial examples of these parabolic draft collector plants that we can mention are in United States, in California, the 9x plants, in Arizona, Solana and Mojave plants, in Granada, Spain, Andasol 1, 2 and 3, Sevilla, Solnova, Elio Energy, in Ciudad Real, Spain, Mancha Sol 1 and 2, Badajoz, in Spain, Extresol 1, Extresol 2, Extresol 3, and Casablanca, and in Almería, Andalusia region, in, at Plataforma Solar de Almería, the, uh, the TCP100 research plan that has replaced recently the accurate research facility that has been working during more than 30 years. The objective in our research plans is, uh, in this case, the research the, in modeling and control activities. Well, regarding the TCP100 research plan, in this slide we present a photograph of the first parabolic draft collector of the first of the three loops that are in the in the TCP100 facility of Plataforma Solar de Almería. All these type of collectors has an approximate length of 100 meter lengths, all of them composed by H modules of 12 meters. We have an important amount of instrumentation installed for our research activities, in particular inlet and outlet and middle temperatures in the fluid, middle metal temperatures, in the middle point of the parabolic trough collectors, mass flow rate measurements and inlet outlet pressures. Regarding the thermal analysis model developed, our objective has been to obtain a continuous nonlinear model whose physics foundations are in the references in the paper. Uh, we uh, we have followed the, the objective to use first principles based on the model of the TCP100 parabolic track collector absorber pipe in the radial section. Our approach is to use system level modeling, modeling to get low order or DE models. We are not interested in detailed partial differential equation models. We obtain concentrated parameter models for each component and finally we form a thermodynamic network of components. Some of those components state dynamic energy balances in, balances in solid parts, for example metal, metal absorber pipe and glass envelope. Wind velocity has been a new input variable introduced in this model. The parameterization of the components is obtained from provider's data sheet and engineering project documentation until we get experimental data from the TCP research facility. In this slide, we present a simplified uh, absorber pipe where we can see in the external part the borosilicate glass, what we call in the paper the envelope glass of the glass envelope. Inside of this borosilicate glass we have a steel pipe and inside of this 
uh, of the steel pipe we have the fluid the heat transfer fluid uh, moving uh, along the parabolic trough collector in this case the fluid is uh, silitherm 800 that is a, a commercial solution the boundary conditions for our model is the inlet mass flow rate inlet temperature q dot incident Q dot lost, ambient and sky temperatures, and wind velocity. We assume to know the mean temperature inside the bulk. So we assume for a center and control volume to have a known uh, mean temperature. Q dot incident accounts for the concentrated solar irradiance reflected. This solar irradiance is coming from the parabolic mirror and Q dot loss accounts for the heat losses predicted by the presented model that is the output of our model will be all these heat losses in this slide we present the section that we have used to analyze the model and all the flows that we have considered for the model development are represented the first one is the Q absorbed glass this this one that is the flow that is the heat flow absorbed by the envelope glass from the reflected concentrated solar radiation the next is the Q dot absorbed steel is the heat flow that passed through the envelope glass and is absorbed by the pipe still Q dot conduction glass is the conduction head flow inside the glass envelope Q dot radiation glass steel is the radiation heat flow between the glass and the steel. Q dot conduction steel is the conduction heat flow inside the pipe. This one. Q dot convection HTF is the conduction convection heat flow from the internal surface of the pipe to the mean temperature of the bulk fluid heat transfer fluid the Q dot the Q dot convection lost is the heat flow lost by convection to the environment this one Q dot radiation still lost is the radiation heat flow lost to the environment passing through the envelope glass this one and Q dot radiation glass lost is the radiation heat flow lost to the environment this one so these are all the flows that we have considered and for the implementation our approach has been uh, to use the Modelica standard library as the first library to be considered in any Modelic activity if we do not find the proper class or model in the Modelica standard library then we begin to look for other solutions and in this uh, figure we can see most of the components of the model that we have implemented we have used mostly the classes in the sub package heat transfer from Modelica Thermal according to the phenomena involved conduction here we have conduction components this one this one convection this and all in the convection network that is connected here and radiation here and here the connector port A that is an instance of the class heat port A is the point where the convection network that is connected here from the boundary condition representing the fluid temperature will be connected all the flows in the model are implemented with classes from the Modelica thermal heat transfer components all of them and the energy conservation in the glass envelope and in the metal pipe masses is modeled in the glass heat capacitor here we have an instance corresponds to the steel pipe and here we have the other that corresponds, corresponds to the envelope glass the wind velocity close to the absorber pipe and the ambient temperature are assumed to be known from experimental measurements and in some cases the mean temperature of the fluid could be con could be obtained from experimental measurements too 
a relation of the heat flux considered under implementation with classes of the Modelica standard library are detailed in the paper. In this session now we are going to present <coughs> some simulations. In both simulations and we are used the same boundary conditions. These boundary conditions are formed by solar irradiance, ambient temperature and wind velocity. The former two are obtained from experimental register, experimental data from Plataforma Solar de Almería. The third one has been generated by a sine wave with a mean value of 10 meters by second. The first simulation result of this model has been represented jointly with other models of loses of a parabolic graph collector. For example, the first one is the uh, model based on the information given by the manufacturer of the, uh, of the parabolic draft collectors TCP100 that returns these loses along an operation day. The second model is the classical steady state correlation model that we have been using in the past, for example, in this reference. And the third one is the first principles model uh, heat loses that represent the loses that we are presenting in this paper and uh, is this one where we can see the dependence of the wind velocity. In this other simulation uh, we are presenting a, decom a decomposition of the heat loses of the first principal model uh, in its three parts. The first one is the radiation heat flow rate from the glass envelope, that is this one. The second one is the radiation heat flow rate from the steel pipe, this one. And the third one is the convection heat flow rate from the glass envelope, this one. And in the conclusion, conclusion sections, we can say that a thermal losses model of the uh, TCP100 parabolic trough collector in the Plataforma Solar de Almería (PEMAD) has been presented. The model is based on first principles and includes wind velocity as an additional and new input variable with respect to the traditional approaches. The model is implemented with classes from the Modelica Standard Library, and this is an ongoing work and the results presented are only preliminary. Validation is needed with experimental data to be obtained in the TCP100 research facility. So for future works, experimentation in the TCP100 facility to obtain data for calibration and validation the presented model will be done, and calibration and validation of the first principal model presented based on the experimental data obtained from the TCP100 research facility. The author Luis J. Yebra gratefully acknowledges to the University of Alcalá the grant Giner de los Rios under which this work has been developed. Thank you for your attention.